everybody, it's Sharon here. Welcome back to my channel for those who are returning and welcome to any new subscribers that may be visiting for the first time. So I just have some new crafting treasures to share with you today, a few things that I've picked up along the way. And the first lot of things I'd like to share with you are actually um, things that Hubby bought home for me from a recent garage sale around here. He was going to have a look, so I asked him to check out a couple of things. Now, the first thing I have here are... this set of sheets now I'm really not sure whether I like them or not if that makes sense they're very bright and very busy which isn't necessarily me but I like the challenge of seeing how I can use things in different ways so I've had a couple of ideas of things that I want to try with this fabric and I have plenty here so I have plenty to play with but they were very 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 reasonably priced i think i only paid about i don't know it could have been like five dollars for the set or something like that it wasn't a lot so so i think there's two i think there's two flat sheets and two pillowcases in that bundle and then from the same garage sale um there is this tablecloth which is covered in really beautiful big florals and it's really difficult to get it all in camera so I'm not going to try but it's a really beautiful linen fabric and it has these panels so I'm not quite sure how I want to use them but it will be fun deciding I'm kind of envisaging a journal cover but I haven't quite worked out how I would go about putting that together so and again really reasonably priced so it was a great find and that was something that hubby picked so and also from the same garage sale is this beautiful lace tablecloth and i love this tablecloth i think this will be one of those pieces that when i get to the last little piece i'll be reluctant to use it so again really reasonable all of these things were just so reasonably priced so that was lots of fun there are three seeing if I can get them in camera for you three very large novels here um I don't actually know how big they are so that's nine and a half by looks like almost six and a half inches so really really big size and I said to hubby if you could just have a look at the hardcover books and pick out the ones that look like they're in fairly good condition underneath the dust cover so this was what he came home with and I really love them they're all quite new publications um, but I wanted them for the cover and also for the paper inside so okay so that was that and then I've also picked up some more doilies so I haven't actually pressed these yet they have been washed though so I have a vast selection. I'm not even sure they're up the right way. Some really, really beautiful doilies here. I'll see if I can pop a couple down at a time. There's some smaller ones here. So these actually came from the same lady that I've picked up. I think I've bought about two or three lots from her now and she seems to have them come in every now and then and I really love that I, f I feel like I found a supplier close to me um, which has been really fabulous a bit hard to get that one all in camera so I will go ahead and press these before I use them that's so pretty and then I have these larger ones here. I'll just move my bowl out of the way. Find some way to pop it. These ones I thought would be really good to cut. So there's a couple of these larger. I mean, that's barely fitting into camera. So it's quite big. Some of them do have some staining here and there. 
And it's funny because I thought about tea dyeing them or coffee dyeing them to sort of mask that colouring. And then I was like, do you know what? We go to a lot of trouble to um, dye fabrics and paper and the like to add that sort of grungy worn look so i was like i probably won't do that i'll probably just leave them as they are this one's a really unusual shape which i thought was really really fun so that was the last of the doilies and they are so beautiful i've i've really got a weak spot for beautiful doilies at the moment as you probably noticed if you've watched previous collecting and gathering videos and I have one last thing to share with you now. This is a storage unit. And I'm hoping that's in camera okay. It's a little bit difficult to show you on camera. <laughs> that's a bit better. Um, a little difficult to show you on camera, but it's a clear almost like an acrylic um, cosmetic drawer storage unit. And I picked this up from, it's actually from Target, but I purchased it from catch.com, I think it was. Um, and they were selling them, I think its normal price was $9, and I got them for $7.20 each. So I've bought a few. I had contacted Target to ask whether they were stackable, and they told me they were. The other thing that I wanted to know was whether they were, um, or whether the drawers were removable, which they are. And I really, really love that as an option because I can have things in there. I can pull the whole drawer out, sit it on the table next to me while I'm crafting and then pop it away when I'm done. So I was excited to find that they were removable. The one thing I will say is that they don't necessarily stack. They do stack on top of each other, but they don't lock into that stack. So I've got them... I've got a couple set up on the right of my desk. I think I bought seven in total at that price. Um, I've got three lots, including this one, set up on my desk to my right. And they do kind of move around a little bit. So what I'm thinking of doing is getting some of those Velcro circles, um, the little Velcro dots. And I know that's really dark, I'm sorry, but it's cutting down the reflection for you. Um, Yes, popping a couple of those little Velcro dots in the corners of each of the units to help hold them into place. I'm thinking that should work really well. But for that price, I've been looking at cosmetic drawers for a long, long time. And at that price, I thought they were a great buy. The drawers are not very deep. Um, I can tell you. Can I get my ruler? Oops. So they're only about one and a quarter inches high or about three centimetres. Um, and they did have units that had taller drawers, but they were a lot more expensive. I think, oh, I'm not even going to try and suggest a price, but they do have them available still. I do know that. Um but for the price, I honestly, I couldn't go past them. And I'm sure I'll find lots of little knick-knacky bits and pieces that I can use it for. In actual fact, the two smaller drawers, I've used those to pop my paper clips in. So I keep two different sized paper clips, small and large. And I've used two of those smaller drawers to pop those in, which has been really awesome. So, so that is all of my treasures to share with you today. I just wanted to do a quick show and tell and that will allow me to pop these things away so i hope you enjoy looking through my collecting and gathering treasures i get very excited when i get new supplies or storage units in my room and i love to look at what other people manage to find or source for their crafting so i like to share when i can so thank you so much for joining me and i look forward to seeing you all soon everybody please stay safe stay inspired and happy crafting i'll see you all soon Bye for now.